Hi, I'm just going to do this short video just to uh, update you on the offer that I've currently got out but also just to let you know that here I am, uh, I've been in Belgium for the weekend and this is the boat that I've been staying on, I've been doing all sorts of work and it's been a lovely day and I'm just going to show you this I'm in the uh, Newport Marina which is in um, Belgium not too far from uh, Calais and Dunkirk and I wanted just to show you the area because this is where I come when I have my summer holidays sometimes. Now this is a, um, a totally enclosed basin and it's quite interesting because at the far end of this basin we have what's called the St. Joris Lock. But I'd like to just show you the, uh, <coughs> the general area and it's certainly lovely being on the sea, although this is an inland uh, freshwater thing. So this is what the marina looks like. And over there we have St. Joris Lock. So I'm just going to wander over that way a little bit. So I, I deliberately came over here to, to do jobs and to do work on the boat because it, uh, it's been sitting for the winter and so it hasn't had much uh, tender loving care <coughs> and I wasn't intending to go anywhere and I've been working quite hard so I feel like I've had quite a lot of exercise just to get things ship shape as we, ship -shape, as we like to say um, but even so the thing about being on a boat is that it takes a little bit of uh, patience Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. it takes a little bit of patience to not feel like you need to be going somewhere so look if we just have a little look here see the, the sort of the general area of the basin so I'm kind of trapped if you like well I'm not really trapped but I'm sort of um, in this marina area and I have a feeling even though I'm not planning to go anywhere I have a feeling that I should be going somewhere because the thing about boats is they always feel like you need to be moving you know and as soon as you start moving you always feel like you should be moving on again so you're always going somewhere new which is lovely of course is the best thing about boats but even if you're planning to stay where you are it has that element to it now behind me here just scroll around there we have St Joris Lock <coughs> and the, 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 uh, the lock gates actually open up um, and let you in and that lock there gives you access either to the sea um, if you want to go out into the channel or it gives you access to virtually well it, gives, it genuinely gives you access to the whole of the inline waterways and rivers of Europe and so Holland Germany Denmark you could even go as far as Russia actually Sweden all that sort of stuff and you can go quite far quite far east as well so this lock is pretty important and I guess the interesting thing is if you make the effort to go through the lock you have a choice of where you want to go so all you have to do actually is to make the effort to go through the lock and you're off on your journeys and in principle you can go wherever you want to go now I've been talking recently about my programs panic pit stop uh, mood control uh, the Stop Overthinking 7 Day Challenge, the 7 Day Boost Your Self Esteem Challenge, the Mindfulness Journey. I've been talking about these active self-help CBT programs and uh, over the Easter we've been talking about sort of transformation and rejuvenation and so um, right now today is the last day of the offer that was put out on Thursday and that basically is to get all of these programs, all of the active self-help CBT programs for one pound for the first two weeks gives you an opportunity to see what they're like now the thing about choice is I chose to stay in the marina for the weekend because I was doing work on the boat but if I'd chosen to I could have gone through that lock and I could have uh, gone pretty much anywhere I wanted to go but the thing about choice is if you don't have a genuine choice then it's not really a choice is it so if you feel that you're stationary and stuck and that's okay for you and you're happy with that then that's fine absolutely fine 
If you feel that you're stationary and stuck and you're not happy with that, well that's not absolutely fine. And so you have to make a decision to go somewhere to do something different. Now, <clears throat> if you don't have any problems with panic, anxiety, depression, and stress, then then don't definitely don't use my programs. <laughs> if you do have problems with panic, anxiety, depression, and stress, then why not at least try my programs for a couple of weeks and see whether you like the kinds of things that we're doing. Now the thing about active self-help CBT, it's a new way of doing things because we take the knowledge and skills of CBT, which is really an effective um, treatment strategy for panic, anxiety, depression, stress, and we turn it into stuff that you do yourself. So in a sense, you're internalizing and you're kind of teaching yourself how to be free of panic, anxiety, depression, and stress. But <laughs> let me just show you that I've just been walking up to the lock. It's a lovely evening. <laughs> That's the lock there. And you can just see that between the sort of the walls, you have that, um, uh, that's the crane there, and it lifts the gate up. So when you go into the gate, uh, into the lock, which is a big old lock, I have to say, everything here in um, Belgium is big, it's very industrial. Um, when you go into the lock, let me just move around here. When you go into the lock, if you're not very careful, you get severely dripped on by the lock gates because it turns out they fill with water when they go back into the water. So when they lift them up, it's really dripping. <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can show you a little bit more closely the gates itself. This is, uh, they're interesting. All sorts of different locks and bridges here in here. Really very fascinating. Anyway, <coughs> if you're struggling with panic, anxiety, depression, stress, and you don't want to be where you are, then you have to make the choice to do something different. Now, this is, this is the lock here, and then you can look back towards the marina there. So, I'm giving the opportunity to um, do something different, uh, have a different experience, and you have to make that choice. Um, and. It's okay if you if you where you are. Like I've been this weekend. I haven't intended to go anywhere, so that's good. But I still have the feeling of being somehow trapped in a marina when boats want to be going places. And you know that's okay too. But if you don't want to be trapped and you feel like you've got a problem with panic, anxiety, depression, stress, then why not take the opportunity for one pound to have a go at my active self-help programs? Now. If after two weeks you don't want to continue with them, it's fine. Just stop the subscription. You're entirely in control. If you do want to continue, imagine that you get all the tools and resources that you could possibly need to be free, panic, anxiety, depression, stress, and it teaches you how to crack the code. It teaches you how to understand what's going on for the price of a Starbucks a day. And again, anytime you want to stop, you just stop. Price of a Starbucks a day for all of the knowledge and skills that the whole of the CBT establishment has uh, developed, scientifically researched, clinical trials, all sorts of stuff. It's all there for you, turned into something that you can use, and in fact that I use every day that I'm working in clinical practice <coughs> to deal with problems of panic, anxiety, depression, stress, and many other things for that matter. So, if you're stuck and you don't want to be stuck, use my programs. It's a pound, a pound. It's 50p a week for the first two weeks. A pound for two weeks, right? If you're not stuck, if you're happy where you are, don't use my programs, absolutely fine. And good luck. And isn't this a lovely spot? I'm just gonna walk back now to uh, the, where the boat is, which is more or less uh, there. Just more or less over there. And I mean, I'll leave you with a, a nice view of Belgium. What a lovely spot. My, it does help that the weather's lovely too. If the weather wasn't so nice, it wouldn't be quite such a lovely spot. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. I hope to see you on the inside of the Active Self-Help CBT programs. You've nothing to lose except the feeling of being stuck and trapped.